Personality Plus by Florence Littauer. This book starts with a personality profile. You can find this profile online, but this is what it is. You just answer a bunch of questions you know, concerning your strengths and your weaknesses. And then the uh, scoring sheet is there. Now this is the most important part of the book, the personality types. There are four types, the popular sanguine personality, the perfect melancholy personality, the powerful caloric personality, and the peaceful phlegmatic personality. Now, for the popular sanguine or sanguini personality, this person is the extrovert, the talker, the optimist, and his or her strengths are that they have an appealing personality. This person is bubbly and naturally charismatic. They are the life of the party. You know, this person is someone that everybody wants to be around. You know, they physically hold on to their listener. They're good on stage. They are you know, lively people. And at work, they volunteer for jobs. You know, they are those who are creative and colorful. They make friends easily. They love people. But then you move on to the perfect melancholy personality. This is the introvert, the thinker, the pessimist. So this person is the opposite of the sanguine personality. This person is deep and thoughtful, analytical, serious and purposeful. They are genius prone. They set high standards and want everything done right. I think this is me. I think this is my personality. Um, but I can be a popular sanguine as well. Uh, this person, you know, makes friends cautiously. They're content to stay in the background. Um, yeah, I am uh, because I think it's because I'm more of a sigma male. Like I don't care about being an alpha or I don't technically even want to blend into the background because I'm not a beta. And I'm not good at following, that's for sure. So uh, this one fits me more than any of the others. And you have the powerful caloric personality. The extrovert, the doer, the optimist. This person is a born leader. I would say this is the alpha male or alpha female. They're dynamic and active. They're, they uh, must correct wrongs. Let's see. Uh, this person is goal-oriented. Most, most likely this person is the boss. And they thrive on opposition. They have little need for friends. They'll work for group activity. They will lead and organize. And uh, now we have the peaceful, phlegmatic personality. This person is the introvert, the watcher, the pessimist. This person has a low-key personality. They're easygoing, relaxed, calm, cool. Um, at work, this person is competent and steady. They're peaceful and agreeable. And um, they're easy to get along with, pleasant and enjoyable inoffensive, good listener, and so forth. Each person is a unique blend of these personality types. As you can see from this chart here. I find it fascinating because nobody is just one thing. We're all a mixture of things. A mixture of genes, a mixture of personality types. Here in chapter 16, how to get along with others.
it goes into this, like the popular sanguine personality, recognize their difficulty in accomplishing tasks and realize they talk without thinking first. Let's see here. And there's a lot to that. The perfect melancholy personality. You know, know that they are very sensitive and get hurt easily. Learn to deal with depression. These people tend to be depressed, like myself. Compliment them sincerely and lovingly. Enjoy quiet. The powerful caloric personality. You have to recognize that they are born leaders. They are the alphas. And uh, know that they don't mean to hurt. They can say hurtful things, but um, they don't often mean it. And then we have the peaceful, phlegmatic personality. Realize they need direct motivation and help them set goals and make rewards. Don't expect enthusiasm, etc. I say get this book if you want to understand people better. I know it's helped me. You can also go online and search through each of the personality types if you choose. All right, talk to you later. Bye.